नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श छू वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसायटी Hello students. Today we will study the chapter number five, that is of standard nine, introduction to Euclid's geometry. So in previous class we have studied about some basic concept related to the geometry. So you know now very well what is the meaning of geometry, right? So uh, the introduction of the Euclid's geometry. So uh, who is Euclid? Euclid is a mathematician. who gives the some basics who start the geometry who use the geometry word first time and he gives some of the definitions related to geometry because to understand the geometry we must have something based on that we can study the geometry so that base was given by euclid and for that base he used the definitions axioms and postulate this three part we have given in this chapter so the very first part that is euclid's definitions that we have to study today okay so what is the meaning of definitions definitions mean to define something to define some quantity to define some shape so the geometry is related to the shapes so here the definitions that we have to study are related to the shapes right so first definition the given is like a point is that which has no part right what is the point the definition of the point is given the point is that which has no part that means the dot a point has no dimension that we have already studied in the first lecture right so point means let's suppose there is a this point of uh, for i right there is a point it has no dimension it has no length no breadth no height nothing so we can say that a point is a zero dimension diagram or a figure correct second definition is a line is breadthless length now a line line means a straight line a collection of point in a straight line so it has only one dimension we can say it as a suppose we can say it as a length then we can say that it is it has no breadth so the line is a breadthless length it has no breadth it has only one length so line we can say it is a one dimension figure okay third one is the ends of a line are points we know now what is the line we have already studied line means which has no end it is a straight line and continuous in both the side it has no end but whenever it ends it will be a uh, the points it will be the points nothing else right so the ends of a line are points fourth definition is a straight line is a line which lies evenly with the points on itself right what is a line a straight line a straight line is a line which lies evenly with the points on itself that means the line is made of the points the line is totally made of points so that is why i have already said that the basic element of the geometry is a point all the shapes are made from the point so the straight line is also made of the point right okay fifth definition is a surface is that which has length and breadth only what is a surface surface means a two dimension diagram which has two dimension length and breadth let's suppose that this is a blackboard this blackboard has two things if we say this is as a length then this will become the breadth right so this is this blackboard is an example of a surface your textbook page is also an example of a surface right so a surface is that which has length and breadth only right so this is the fifth definition okay okay so sixth sixth definition is the edges of a surface are line edges of a surface surface means the 3d shape any 3d shape has a surface like a cube a cuboid all the all 
this like of 3D shapes have the surface and their edges are lines. Their edges are lines. Okay. Seventh definition is a plane surface is a surface which lies evenly with the straight lines on itself. Now consider a plane surface. How the plane surface is made of? By which the plane surface is made of? The plane surface is made of the straight lines. If we put together the straight lines, then it will become a plane surface. Like we have studied that, what the uh, line straight line is made of? Straight line is made of the points. And if we put together the points on a straight line, it will become a line. But that line, if we put together, then it will become a surface. So, a plane surface is a surface which lies evenly with the straight lines on itself. So, how many total definitions the Euclid gives? The total of 23 definitions are there. But still, today, still now, we have to study only the 7 definitions. Right? So, let's understand all these definitions by these diagrams. Right? So, the very basic element I have already said, it is a point. So, this is a point. And it is zero dimension figure. Right? Now, the line... I have said that if we put together this kind of point in this way, it will become a line. Right? So, if we, if we, if we can measure the line, it is a line segment. If we cannot measure it, if it is continued in both the direction, it will become a line. And it is a one dimension figure because it has only one di dimension. We can say it either it is a length or breadth or height. Right? No second dimension is there. Okay. What is the surface? See the definition of surface is given here. Yes. The plane surface is, is a surface which lies evenly with the straight lines on itself. Now what will happen if we put this line in this way one after another? Right? Then it will become like a surface. So as the line has a only one dimension, you can see that by putting this line, the second dimension is also generated. So, the surface has, that is why, two dimensions. Right? One is length, one is breadth. That is why it is called as a two dimension figure. Because two dimensions are there, length and breadth. Okay. Third important point is solid. Solid means a three dimension figure. Like your water bottle, like your uh, textbook, your textbook is also a 3D shape, it is called as a cuboid and there is a cube, playing cube that you may use to play, that is also a 3D shape and it is, if it is a cuboid, it will be looked like this. Why it is a 3D? Because it has a three dimension, length, breadth and height. So, which is called as a length, breadth and height? Suppose this is, a, we can say it, this is a height, this is a length, then this dimension will be the breadth. Right? So, this is a solid. Now, see this lining that I have made. What is that? That is a surface. Right? This surface is also by which the surface is made of the straight lines and the straight lines is made of the points. So, as we move from upside down, we will going to increase one dimension. From point to line, one dimension is increased. From line to surface, one dimension is increased. And from surface to solid, one dimension is increased. What will happen if we go reverse? If we go reverse, we lose the one dimension. This is a 3D shape. So, if we move one dimension, then only two dimensions will remain. What we become if we move above, then again we lose one dimension, only one dimension length will remain. And if we move ahead also, we get we will also lose the one dimension. So, zero dimension will remain and the point will remain there. Okay. So, here you can see that this is a solid. This solid has all the points, lines, surface. All these things are in the combination of the solid. This solid is become as using this point, line and surface. This portion, upper portion is a surface. Front side is a surface. Back side is a surface. Left hand side portion is a surface and right hand side portion is a surface. So, whenever these two surfaces meet each other, like this is a surface and this is second surface. 
if this two surface meet each other then it will become a straight line right the combination of two straight line when two surfaces meet each other then it will become a straight line right so when this two straight line meet each other see here this straight line and this straight line meet each other then it will become a point right this straight line and this straight line meeting in this point so the combination or we can say that the uh, inter intersection of the two lines is a point in this way intersection of two surface is a is a line okay so this is all about the definitions of euclid's right remember all the definitions because they all are important okay so this is all about this lecture okay thank you thank you for joining us